Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Kimmy. This is my attic. And today I'm going to be showing you my bronzer slash powder slash face palette collection as we continue on this declutter series. I, um, I hesitate to call it a declutter though. I don't have anything as big volume wise in my collection as my eyeshadow palette collection. My eyeshadow palette collection was huge. I will link those videos. I did an eyeshadow palette declutter part one and part two. I will link those videos down below. The rest of my collection is definitely on the smaller side. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> it's on the smaller side in compared to the eyeshadow collection. In general, it's big. It's, it's way bigger. I have way more makeup than I should have. However, my bronzers are definitely my smallest. They're my smallest um, collection. They're my smallest category, if you will. So I'm also going to show you my face palettes. I don't have a whole lot of face palettes either. And I'll show you my powders, of which I think I have four, <laughs> maybe. I don't really use powder. So I'm going to show you all that. And I will be getting rid of some stuff, but I won't be getting rid of a lot. Because like I said, I don't really have that much. And what I have, I pretty much like and use. So, but I'll be showing it to you and I'll be letting you know if I am getting rid of anything. But before we get into that, guys, I just want to take a moment and say a lot of you have been um, leaving me such lovely comments. And I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much. Some of you have let me know how you got into makeup. Some of you have let me know how you, um, like, started your collection or how big your collections are or what you are doing to utilize your collection. Some of you uh, reached out to me and let me know some tips. <laughs> about uh, some of the uh, palettes that I had. So for all of that, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out to leave me a comment. I love makeup. I love to talk about it. I could sit here and talk about it all day, but I also love to hear about it. I love to. I love YouTube videos about makeup. I love to see people's collections, and I love to hear about your collections. So thank you so much for leaving me those comments. And a couple of you also left me a comment about how you also suffered from depression, anxiety, um, some other things. And for those of you guys, thank you so much for sharing with me. I know it's not easy. It's a shame that it's so tough. It really is, but I really think that sharing with each other does help, and it makes us feel less alone. You know, I... I still have tendencies. I think it's like a lifelong battle and I still have good days and I still have bad days. So it really, really does help when uh, when we share. So, and like I said, I know it's not easy. So thank you guys so much for those of you who reached out and let me know your story. I really, really do appreciate it. And with that guys, let's get into the video. We're gonna start with my face palettes and work our way into my powders and my bronzers. Let's do it. All right, guys, I'm going to start with my face palettes, of which I have five. The first one is the Sweet Peach Glow by Too Faced. Now, I know that this palette is no longer available. I am pretty sure that Too Faced did away with all of the peach um, collection. Um, but I really liked it. I really, really like this palette. It's so cute. And it has a blush. It had a bronzer and a highlighter. And it really worked well. I used to, for, especially for dry skin, I used to love to, like, break this one out in the summertime. I feel like I would like to see Too Faced, like, re-release this collection, the peach collection. Because I think it was a favorite for a lot of people. But, like, give it a makeover. Like, give it a makeover and then, like, like peach 2.0 or something. And then release it this summer. I don't know. I feel like that might be good. Uh, the other one I have, oh, I've got, I've never even used this, <laughs> and I don't think it's around anymore. Okay, so this is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Bali, um, this is from the Travel series, and this is the Blush and Highlighter Palette, and as you can clearly see, I never used it, and I was planning to use it in a video coming up, but honestly, I don't think it's available. Like, I was looking at uh, BH Cosmetics. They still have a few of these travel series palettes available, but a lot of them disappeared. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but all of a sudden, they're, like, not selling a few of them. Like, the, the Smitten Switzerland I haven't seen. This one is gone. I don't know. So I might have to use something else in that video because I don't like to use things that aren't available anymore. I can't speak for this. It looks like it might have been nice, but, um, yeah. It looks like it's not available anymore, so I might go ahead and declutter this one because, like I said, I would rather have something that's available so I can use it on this channel since I do do YouTube. Um, the peach one I'm not going to obviously use on camera, but I will keep it because that one I have used many times. 
the other one I'll probably just get the Bally I will probably just get rid of and um get one that is still around. Okay, Too Faced Natural Face. I love this palette. This one is such an oldie but a goodie and yes, it is still available. You can still get it off the Too Faced website. I don't know about like Sephora or Ulta or anything like that. You have two bronzers, two blushes, two highlighters. This thing smells so good. It has like that vintage imprint and um, I don't know, I just think it works really, really nice. So many people have this palette in their collection. I would say probably, I don't know, <laughs> a lot. A lot of people have this palette somewhere in their collection. Like I said, it's an oldie but a goodie. I like it. It, it works really, really lovely. Um, this was probably when I got into makeup, like one of the first things I bought. I think like, like an eyeshadow palette or two and I purchased this. So this one is kind of old, but it still performs really well, and it smells like chocolate for, for whatever reason. This thing also smells like chocolate. I don't know. But yeah, I really like this one. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, the Sigma, oh by the way guys, these are fake face palettes. So if I have palettes that are just like blushes, or just bronzers, or just, excuse me, I don't have any that are just bronzers, but anything that I have that is just a blush or just a highlight palette, I'll be putting that like in my blush video or my highlight video. So these are like full face palettes. Okay, this is the Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. This one is fairly new to my collection. I got this on Black Friday when Sigma had their Black Friday sale. I think everything was like 40% off. They do that every Black Friday, um, it's pretty awesome. So you have three bronzers and you have three highlighters or contours. They're like contours, I guess, slash bronzers and um, three highlighters. So I've only used these two. These are really the only two that I think that I could use. I could maybe, I don't know. I was gonna say I could maybe make this one work, but I'm not sure. But the formula is really, really beautiful. And um, yeah, this is a pretty nice palette. This is the only um, Sigma, oh no, I do have the blush palette. Okay, I was gonna say this is the only Sigma face palette, but yeah, I think Sigma has a gorgeous uh, formula all around. Most of their products have a really nice formula, so yeah. Definitely keeping this one. And then finally, I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder palette. I just spoke about this one when I did the um, Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation review because this I used it on camera. I got this over this past holiday season. Uh, Hourglass is a pricey brand, but they every year, I feel like every year they release a palette like this around the holidays where they give you, you know, you can kind of try it. There's two blushes in here. There's a bronzer. There's a highlighter. There is a powder. And I have to say um, that this was $80. But if you buy the pans by themselves, I think they range from like $40 to $50. They're bigger, of course, but I mean, I don't know. I think this is a good buy, especially if you want to just like try the products. And I do have to say, they do apply lovely on the face. Like, they're very hyped up. But I do think that these powder products are very, very good. They just make your skin look amazing. At least that's been, that's been my... Um, that's been my experience and you know sometimes powder products are a little bit difficult because I do have skin on the drier side but I have to say that I really really did enjoy this palette I was gonna do a video like was it worth it <laughs> like um, I never I ended up never doing it but if I had put this and I was going to put this in that video I actually st still am gonna do one but I'm gonna use some newer products um, but if I had done that video and I had put this in it I would say yes I do think it's definitely worth it the powders are beautiful. And that's, those are my face palettes, all five of them. Okay guys, before I get into my powders, I just wanted to show you this real quick. This is the color correcting palette by NYX. So it's just like a cream color corrector. And the reason I wanted to show you this is, um, I think this is a really, really nice product by NYX and it's $12. So if you do need some kind of color correcting, the thing is, a lot of companies will try to get a lot of money for color correcting. I've noticed this. So when I had my um, 
and even sometimes like the other day I shot a video and my eyes were like all red and I don't even know sometimes I don't even know what it comes from my skin is just very reactive from that nickel allergy and a lot of times I'll eat something and I won't even realize it and it'll just set it off so there was a time when I was like searching high and low for color correcting because I would just have all kinds of redness and there's a lot of like I said brands out there that'll try to get a lot of money for color correcting and it's this little palette, I think, works just fine. So, you know, red is green. I mean, if you're trying to cover red, you use green. Um, I used to know this really, really well because there was a time when I was constantly color correcting. Um, the salmon is for what? Is it for, I think the yeah, purple is like for yellow. Like if you're like kind of like yellow, you use purple. And salmon is for, I don't remember. I don't remember guys, I don't remember all the colors, but I know that the green one is for red, but all I'm saying is that this is still available, it's $12, it's by NYX, and I think it's a really, really amazing product if you do need to color, oh god, that I just dropped it, I think it's a really, really good product if you do need to color correct for whatever reason, before you, before you go out and spend a lot of money, pick this up and see if it works for you. I'm just saying, I had that experience. Okay, so my powders, I have one, two, th oh my God, I have six? I didn't even think I had that many. Oh, I know how I got six, I thought I had five. Okay, the first one I'm gonna talk about is the YZEL. This is the 3D um, All Over Glow Powder. Yes, I got this because, ooh, hi, I was just in the mirror. Mel Thompson used to talk about this on her channel all the time. I used to love to watch Mel. Um, she loved this powder. So basically, it's not exactly a highlighter. It, it can be used as a highlighter, but it's like a, pow a powder that's supposed to like give you like an all over glow. And I remember her saying that like this was for all skin types. So I went out and I bought it, but I have to tell you, it didn't really work for me because my skin was so dry. But if one time, one time, I did need a powder. I told this story very quickly in my last video when I used that um, Glassy Skin by Touch and Soul and I used that really dewy flower foundation. And it, my skin was like so, like, I, it, like the foundation was like sliding off. So I did put this powder over it. And I saw for the first time how absolutely beautiful a powder can be. This powder is gorgeous it's so pretty it does give you an all-over glow I think if you have combination or oily skin this is beautiful if you have drier skin it doesn't work as well but if I really hydrate or if I really really use like a really dewy something really dewy and I can wear this I do because I think it's beautiful and it does give you a really nice glow that's a gorgeous one okay let's see what else do I have here okay my Clinique this is a powder. This is probably the first thing I ever bought. This isn't really a powder. This is a redness corrector. I don't know why. It's called Redness Solutions Instant Relief um, Mineral Pressed Powder with Probiotic Technology. It. I don't know why it's not green because usually things that correct redness are green, but it does like work to a point. But it, I am going to declutter it because this is super, super old and it doesn't work. I pulled it out the other day to use it and it doesn't work like it used to. This is probably over three years old. Like I think that I got this when I first had that allergy. I went and I was looking for things to help me with my redness and this was something that I just picked up. And in its day it worked really good. Like I said, it's weird that it's yellow because usually it's green. So a correct red is green. Um, but... For whatever reason, it does work. So anyway, um, but I am going to declutter it. Like if you have real bad rosacea, these things aren't going to really work that well. But if you just have a little bit of redness, I think it is a good product. Um, like I said, it's just very old. It doesn't perform like it used to, but it was a good product in its day. Okay, Flower Beauty. I don't remember why I picked this up. This is the Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. Um, I've heard I don't know, but I have heard that this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Like I said, I'm not a powder user, so I'm not 100% sure. The only time I do use powder is under the eye to set my concealer. So that's why I have any of these powders, to be honest with you. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even have any, or like just in case I ever need one. But um, I guess I will keep this because I do use it for that reason. I mean, I can't imagine ever using this for anything else, but yeah, I'll just keep it. 
like I said, I heard it's very good. Like I heard it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't own the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's not worth it for me to have. I was going to say it's not worth it for me to have a really expensive powder, but that's a really dumb thing for me to say after I just showed you that Wiesel powder. But that's the only one I have. <laughs> the other ones are all um, pretty much drugstore. Um... This one, Essence Brighten Up. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I like this one too if I want to go a little bit brighter under the eye. I don't do it that often, but every once in a while I do pull this one out. I think this is a nice powder too. And then the other two I have are loose powders. Now, um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This one is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And how I got this... Okay, well that's a little better. So it's the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder. And how I got this was in that Macy's Advent Calendar. Otherwise I never would have bought this, but I have to say I kind of like this. Like if I was going, all right, there's not too many times when I use a loose powder, but I remember hearing that if you were gonna use a, oh, there I go. All of a sudden my camera's decided it will focus. So I remember hearing that if you did need a, like a loose powder and you have dry skin that the Bare Minerals was pretty good. And I have to say I think it is a little bit better than the rest of them. The one that I did have before this was the Fenty Beauty Loose Powder. This is in butter. And I think I am just going to keep, I definitely don't need two loose powders. So I probably will just go ahead and put this one um, up on Mercari. And I will... Um, Keep the bare minerals. So there we have it. So I am, I had one, two, three, four, five, six powders and I am decluttering two. So there you go. Okay guys, so moving on to powdered bronzers and then we will do cream bronzers and then we will call it a video. So I have 16 powder bronzers, which is more than I thought I had. I don't know, for some reason I didn't think I had that many. But I will start off, I have one that I never even used, and that is this one. This is the, how do I say this brand? Um, Mo Moira Sunkissed, Sun Moira? I don't know. Anyway, this is the Bronze, Bronze Goddess Duo. And again, I never used it. So I have those two eyeshadow palettes that I am going to be selling. I feel like I have a blush on this brand too. I don't know why I had so much stuff, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna make like a little bundle and put it on Mercari because I'm never gonna use this. And um, I did do a little bit of research and apparently like a lot of people do like this brand. So I might as well just, since I never used it, just go ahead and put it on Mercari along with the eyeshadow palette. So I will be getting rid of this one. Um, okay, next one up, Hula by Benefit. I love this bronzer. This is probably one of my favorite bronzers. This is the Hula Light. Yes, I use the brush. I think like the first thing everybody always says when they talk about like these kind of bronzers is that, um, oh yeah, I never use the brush. I use this little brush as you can clearly see. I like it. Um, I don't know. I just do. So yeah, I like Benefit powder products for the most part. I do, and I love this bronzer. Like I said, it's one of my favorite ones. So I will be keeping that one, definitely. Actually, I'll be keeping most of them. There's not too many that I'm going to be decluttering. Okay, NARS. This one, this is the Laguna bronzer. This is another one I really, really like. Um, I wanted to get the bronzer from, oh sorry, I'm trying to open it, from NARS with like the glitter on top. It had like the spray glitter on top or something. I know a lot of people didn't like it because they thought there was like, it was like glowy all through, but it was just on top, but I never did purchase it. But this one, as you can clearly see, is used, is lived in. I use this one a lot. I don't know, I really like this bronzer. There's something about it that I like. So I am keeping it. This is the smaller one. They make a bigger one. Okay, I have two by Too Faced. Is there anybody that doesn't have this one in their collection? This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soule. Is that what it's called? Chocolate Gold Soule. And, and there was a time, I'm telling you, <laughs> I feel like whatever you bought from Too Faced, they would like send you one of these. Or like there was always like a special on one of these. Or it was on sale. Or like they were giving it away. I don't know. There was just, for a while, there was always something with it. It's really, really pretty, but it's a little dark for me, but it is so beautiful. That was a lousy swatch. Hold on. Well, you can't really tell that it's dark, but for me, it's a little bit dark. Um, 
I have to go, as long as I go in with a light hand though, uh, it's okay. It's like a shimmery bronzer. It's really beautiful. It smells so good. And I think it was just supposed to give you like, like a glow. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I like to use this one in the summer when I have sort of a slight tan. It does give you like a really nice bronzy glow and it's really, really smells so good. And then I have the Too Faced. This is another one most people have. This is the matte bronzer um, by Too Faced, the chocolate bronzer. I have the milk chocolate. Um, they have a couple of shades. And this is another one I really like. I don't mind this bronzer. I think a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people do or don't like this bronzer, but um, it's always, almost always you'll find it on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. This is just one of those things that's like always on sale. And I think I probably, I don't know if I got it there or if Too Faced just had a special. They tend to have a lot of specials with these bronzers, I'm telling you. They just kind of throw them in. So, um, I don't know. Remember how I got this. But I do like this one. I have to say, I do like this bronzer. Like I said, I like most of my bronzers. Okay, oh, here's one I hate. Here's one I'm decluttering and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. This is the Clinique, oh, what was it? Powder Pop Flower Bronzer. I used this in the video I did with Clinique and Sex in the City. It's really aesthetically pleasing. I wanted it forever because it had these flower indentations in it. I don't care. <laughs> I'll tell you for real, that's why I wanted it because it had flower indentations on it. It is so hard. Like, it's just like, I don't know, did I get a bad one? Does anybody else have this? And does it work? It just didn't work for me at all. I couldn't barely even get it out of the pan. It's like so hard pressed. I am never gonna use this. I didn't like it at all. I couldn't even see it on me. I don't even think I got it on the brush when I used it. It just did not work. I'm just decluttering this. I hate this bronzer. I absolutely hate it. It doesn't work. Like I said, I don't know if I got, an, I just got a bad pan or I don't know what happened there, but okay. Next up, this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This one is kind of funny. Doesn't it look glowy? It looks so glowy on camera. It's like an optical illusion. It's really funny. When I bought this at Sephora, I had seen it like on camera. Somebody was like showing it and I was like, wow, that looks like such a gorgeous glowy bronzer. When you see it in person, you see it's like an optical illusion. It's not glowy at all. But even on camera now, it just looks so glowy. I thought I had the wrong one. That's what I'm saying. When I went to Sephora, I thought I picked up the wrong one. Because I was like, this bronzer is not. doesn't look have, have that like glowy look. Um, it's weird. <laughs> Does anybody else notice it? I don't know. But in any case, I think it's a beautiful bronzer. Um, I do really like this one. It's nice. It is pretty. Keeping... Oh, here's one that can go. Here's a good declutter. I absolutely hate this bronzer. This is the Cover Effects. This is another one. Every, um, maybe not every, but I can confidently say most 21 Days of Beauty, you will see this baby go up with the blushes. For Cover Effects, they always have a sale. The blushes are very, very good. I, will sh I only have one. I'll show you in my blush video. The bronzers are terrible. And look how aesthetically pleasing it is. It looks like it would be beautiful, right? You have your bronzer here, and then you have your shimmer here. You can mix them, and they're gonna look so great on your skin. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I don't know, I'm sure some people like them. I'm sure some people like them. My personal opinion, they are not good. That is my personal opinion. I hate this bronzer, it just doesn't, do anything for my skin. Maybe it's not made for dry skin, I don't know. But for whatever reason, I just don't like this one. So this one is a definite declutter. Definite declutter. And it's weird because the blush is so beautiful. The blushes are gorgeous. The bronzer is awful, in my opinion. Like I said, my opinion, I just don't like it. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, I have the 100% pure bronzer. I love 100% pure for the most part. I don't like their eyeshadow, but as you can clearly see, I love their bronzer. So 100% pure. I, I've spoken about them a bunch of times. The It used to say 100% pure in the bronzer. <laughs> That's why I said you can clearly see I like it. It is way gone. I've spoken them a bunch of times. They are such a great company. They make fruit pigmented makeup. I discovered them when I had my nickel allergy and I was finding it really hard to use things. Um, they were like a lifesaver because I don't really react to any of their products. Like I said, they don't really, a lot of their products 
they just use um, fruit to and vegetables to give it pigment. There are iron oxides in this. I have never been able to find an iron oxide free bronzer, but I can use this one. Also, this one is primarily made with cocoa. I think Too Faced makes their bronzers with cocoa also, but that's the main ingredient in this one. This bronzer is so beautiful. Packaging is lovely. I love 100% Pure. I would highly recommend giving them a chance if you have never given them a chance and if that appeals to you. If that's something like that appeals to you, you might really like them. Okay, I have some drugstore. Let me do the drugstore at the ends because I think that these drugstore bronzers are really, really, really good. Um, did I already do any drugstore? No, I didn't, so that's perfect. Okay, here's one, another oldie but goodie. I think this, oh, in my opinion, it was an oldie but goodie, and I think it's long gone also. Didn't they also do away with this Tutti Fruity collection? I think they did. I think it trickled down through, like, TJ Maxx for a while, and now I think it's totally gone. But I really liked this cute bronzer. This is a really shimmery bronzer. Does it smell? Yeah, it smells like pint, like coconut. It does. It's really, really cute. It's long gone. I can't use it on camera, but I'm just going to keep it for myself because in the summer, I really, really like to pull this one out. This was another really cute Too Faced collection. They did, um, they were called the Tutti Fruity palettes, I think. They did a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and they did some bronzers and some blushes. I probably have a blush somewhere. Um, but yeah, I do like that one. I have to say, I'll be keeping it. Um, oh, I will never get rid of this one. I will never, ever get rid of this. But of course, once it's gone, it's gone for good. Goodbye, Becca. This was the Becca bronzer. Oh, I loved Becca products. I felt like they were just really catered to people with dry skin. I have my whole Goodbye Becca video. We lit a candle and we tried on all our Becca products. When I found out they were going out, I was so heartbroken. I even didn't mind Becca Zero. I'll say it. I don't care. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't mind Becca Zero. I felt like it was marketed wrong because it was marketed as a foundation. It clearly was not a foundation, but I didn't think it was a terrible product. I miss Becca. I know they re-released some stuff under Smashbox and Smashbox could use it, so that was not a bad idea. I really wish that they would release more of their products. I loved their bronzer, but of course I won't use it on camera, but I will keep it. I absolutely will keep it. And then finally, I have my Nabla bronzer. Nabla is a brand that I really, really do love. I just got a mystery box from Nabla and I have to tell, I'm going to do a whole face on Nabla um, because I think they're such a great brand. I have a lot of eyeshadow singles that are really beautiful from them. So I thought we would just um, have a video where we play with Nabla products. I've never used their foundation, but I actually did purchase it so I'll show you guys all that stuff and I'll use this in that video. But yeah, this is a really pretty bronzer. It's another shimmery one. Um, it's gorgeous. I, I really, really like Nabla. So that's it for that. Let me show you my drugstore bronzers. So am I getting rid of, what am I getting rid of? I'm getting rid of two. I didn't, I'm getting rid of three. I'm getting rid of three. So that's not terrible. Two are just awful. And the, the Moira I'm going to put on Mercari. I don't know how that is. Okay, so I have four drugstore bronzers that I think are really, really, they're, well, this is the first one. This one is just okay. This is by e.l.f. This is Forever Sunkissed. I have not used this enough to really say too much. I think I did like it when I used it. Um, e.l.f. usually has pretty good products. I'm going to be doing over the summer. I'm going to start it in the summer because I have to get, like, um, I have to get like my mindset around it, but in this summer, I'm gonna just start a whole drugstore thing. I have something brewing in my head. You know I like to do series. That's just how my head works. I have to do videos in series. So I am gonna be doing a whole big drugstore thing, and I'm gonna start it, I think, in the summer. And we're gonna talk about a lot of drugstore makeup on this channel. But yeah, I do like this. I think I have to use it more. But if I, my, my memory serves me right, I think it's pretty good. But it's not as good as the next three. The next three are really outstanding, I think, drugstore bronzers. And the first one, we'll just get it out of the way. Yes, it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I still love this. I still use it. I still think it is the best drugstore bronzer on the market. It's just so good. Um, I do not use the brush for this one, as you can see. It's still in the plastic. You've got the mirror. It's just so cute. And it smells so good. I love the way these products smell. Although the Too Faced Pineapple one has kind of this smell too. 
But there's nothing like the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. It is so classic. It really is. I always use this one in the summer. I can't help myself, folks. Okay, Milani also makes a very, very good drugstore bronzer. If you are looking for a bronzer from the drugstore, I don't think you can go wrong here. This is the Silky Matte Sunlight sunlight bronzer in 01. Now they make a baked bronzer too and I have to tell you I don't like the baked bronzer as much as I don't even have it anymore as I like this bronzer. I think this bronzer is phenomenal and was it L'Oreal that makes a good one too? I don't remember. There was another one that I liked. I don't, I can't find it. It might have been L'Oreal. But um, Milani, this bronzer is so, so beautiful. Like I said, if you need a drug, if you are in the market for a drugstore bronzer, I would check out this bronzer line by Milani. I think they're gorgeous. Or the last one. This was one of my favorite products that I tried this year. I picked up the blush and I picked up the bronzer. The blush is pretty but I love the bronzer. This is the Juvia's Place Bronzed in Light. And I thought this was such a surprise. I don't know why um, I thought it was like a, I don't know. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do because I didn't really have a lot of experience with Juvia's Place outside of their eyeshadow palettes. Oh, that's not true. I had a highlighter that I really enjoy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I love this palette. I like it more than I thought I would. It's, do you would I call it a palette? I don't know. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It really is. It has a mirror. The packaging is lovely. I, I think Juvia's Place is such a great brand. But yeah, this bronzer was gorgeous. Love it. So those are some bronzers. If you're not looking to spend a lot of money, I don't think you can go wrong with those couple of bronzers. Last up, I'm going to show you guys my cream bronzers. Um, I do prefer cream bronzers to powder bronzers at the end of the day only because my skin is so dry But I, I use both I use both so let's go ahead and take a look at the cream bronzers and then that's it Okay, so I have four cream bronzers and I absolutely love all of them I don't even know if I can decide all right. I'll have to try to, <laughs> I'm gonna try to rank them, but I mean I absolutely I love all of them. Okay, so this is, or this, I'm not including this one. I'm not sure exactly where I would put this um, as far as what this is. This is a face and body bronzer. I do like use it in the summertime and it's so, so gorgeous. It looks pretty. It smells so good. This is from Seoul. They're a sister brand of ColourPop. They make like a lot of tanning stuff, um, like face highlight, uh, excuse me, body highlighters, stuff like that. This product was pretty, I think it only came out last year. It's really, really nice. If you have very fair skin, you have to use a very, very light hand, but it's beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love this. Um, I think I've seen people, some people like say this is a foundation. Have I seen that? I think I might've seen that, but it's really a bronzer. So, I mean, that's what it says. <laughs> so um, yeah, I use it as a bronzer. And like I said, if you go in with a really light hand, especially in the summer, it's just so, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so now I have four, and I don't know. I can't even place them. I can't even place them, guys. Okay, I have the Tower. I love Tower 28. I absolutely love their products. This is their cream bronzer in Suncoast. It's beautiful. Really, really, really nice. I love their products. Um... It's a very, very subtle glow. Like, that is what I will say. Like, Tower 28, a lot of their products are kind of subtle. I still haven't used the foundation. I got the foundation. I still haven't used it. It's not, is it a foundation or a skin tint? I, I, it's probably a skin tint. I'm going to do a video on Tower 28 products because I do have quite a bit of them. Um, I discovered their skin do when I was looking for iron oxide free makeup. And I just really, my God, why am I dropping everything? I just really, really enjoy the brand. So I love this bronzer. And I love this bronzer. This is by Fenty Beauty. Hello, I was just in the reflection. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous cream bronzer. This is probably, this is in the sun. This is probably one of my favorite, no, probably maybe the gloss bombs. I'm trying to think, what's my favorite product by Fenty? You can tell I use this one a lot because again, this one had like the, um, 
the FB in the product and it's gone because I do use this a lot. Oh, it's kind of there. It's, it's sort of there <laughs> and it's sort of gone. Um, I use this a lot. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's a cream, but it's not, it's like a cream powder kind of. I can't explain the formula. It's it's really, really beautiful. I think between the, I don't know, I like everything by Fenty except their eyeshadow. Except their everything that I have. I've never tried their foundations, but I love their, um, I love this bronzer. I love the lipstick. I love the gloss. I think, is that all I have? I don't know, but anyway. I love this bronzer. That's the point. Great bronzer. Okay, the last two brands. All right, this, oh, I should have put this. Why did I put this here? This should have been, I should have put this with the face palettes because this is everything. This is the Katcha Bento Box. I talk about this thing all the time. I love it. I use it a lot. This, you get the um, blush, so it's like a powder blush. And then you get a highlighter. It's not the best highlighter, but it's it's doable, it's nice. And then finally you get the cream bronzer. This is the standout for me in this palette. Not palette, this little box. I love this stack. I love this cream bronzer. I think it's so, so beautiful. It actually reminds me of my favorite. This is one of my favorite bronzers right here. And it's called I'm, what is it, I'm Mimi? I'm Mimi um, Multi-Stick Shading. So this is, I believe, a Korean brand. I know Katcha is, and I think this is too. I think they're sister brands, honestly. Yeah, the bronzer in here is beautiful. I love that. If you're like traveling, whatever, you just wanna throw it in your bag, it's such a nice thing. Okay, this is also a Korean brand. You can still get it on Amazon. They do have it on Amazon, and it is so lovely. If you have dry skin, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It just blends out so beautifully and it just gives you this gorgeous like bronzy glow. It really does and it's just, it's so lovely. I don't even know how I first heard of this. Did I, I might have just discovered it on my own. I might have actually did that because I don't, I don't think I've ever actually seen anybody use this but it's so, so nice. It is so lovely, especially, like I said, if you have dry skin. Oh, look at my camera focusing. Anyway, if you have dry skin and you're looking for a, a cream bronzer, this is a really, really good one. Really good one. All right, guys. There you go. My bronzer collection. So that about wraps it up for us guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. We talk about it all in the attic. If there's ever anything you want me to talk about, you can leave it in the comments down below. And if I can, I absolutely will. Once again, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. As always, I hope that you're taking good care of yourselves because you're no good to anyone else if you don't take care of yourself. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.